Hello all. In this video we are going to discuss about the FCB group. Till now we had discussed about aquifice in the gram negative group and in the gram positive we have already discussed actinobacteria, firmicutes and tenericutes. So to start in this start this video, FCB group is a group of gram negative bacteria, the very basic fact. So they contain the structure like this with the double membrane structure with the cell wall packed in between and a good picture will be like this. Uh, this is a picture of the chlorobi which is a, a, a phylum in the super phylum FCV group. Okay, so to start uh, to know about the FCV group, FCV group was also called the sphingobacteria by Calver and Smith. Uh, and this was not accepted by the majority of the scientific community. So, they actually re replaced the name F Sphingobacteria by FCB group and this was not a phylum, it was a super phylum and the F stands for Fibrobacter, the C stands for Chloro-B and the B stands for Bacteroids and all these were individual phylum in this super phylum. So, let us look at it. So we can see this FCB stands for this. Anyways, now let us discuss about these. Okay, so first the chloro B. So chloro B actually is a phylum containing two classes. One ignathobacteria, which is actually a non photosynthesizing class of bacteria, and the other major class, which is the green sulfur bacteria. So this green sulfur bacteria, you may have heard the name of green sulfur bacteria, actually uses substrates such as or substances such as hydrogen sulfide and ferrous sulfide and then they evolve the elemental sulfur and they can further oxidize it to various degrees, okay, like SO2 and SO3. So let us look at it. This chloro B contains one genera which is the chlorobium. So, as we just uh, discussed that uh, green sulfur bacteria can uh, can use hydrogen sulfide or ferrous sulfide. Let us give you an analogy if you are not able to understand this. For let's imagine plants. In plants we as we know uses water for their photosynthesis purpose and then evolve oxygen like that green sulfur bacteria uses ferrous sulfide or hydrogen sulfide according to uh, the species. Some species may use ferrous sulfide, some species may use hydrogen sulfide, but they have in common that they release sulfur in their elemental form and then again depending on the species they can oxidize it further. Now this genus chlor genera chlorobium was actually a culprit why I am calling it a culprit because it was responsible for a mass extinction event. This genera chlorobium used to do its own work, used to photo photosynthesize and then they used to release the gases such as SO2 or um, sulfur dioxide and SO3 all those gases and which are greenhouse gases and like that the temperature of the earth raised and it was difficult for many organisms to survive and due to those global warming this genera caused a mass extinction called the Cretaceous extinction okay so that is a important point about this genera now let us look at the fibrobacters in the fibrobacters if we look at the name the fibrobacters fibro and the bacters so fibro means fibers and the bacters always means the bacteria so this type of bacteria can digest fibers or cellulose fibers to be more specific so can help to digest cellulose fibers and where does it digest it? cellulose fibers it is not actually present freely in the environment but it is mostly found in the guts of ruminants termites and cockroaches litter feeding cockroaches so there they help to uh, they help to digest the substances that these organisms eat and therefore they live in endosymbiosis so that was fibrobacters so let us look at a genera of fibrobacters which can be um, which is that only one genera is present in fibrobacters which is 
uh, fibrobacter itself directly comes from the name and uh, then there is a species like fibrobacter succinogens and fibrobacters all those species are there but only one genera and to your surprise to make you surprise that this fibrobacter is a fi phylum which contains only one genera okay so only one order only one class only one family only one genera so that's a very small phylum anyways let us look at more more about the bacteroids over here now so bacteroids uh, let's separate the other two that is the chlorobi and the fibrobacters so bacteroids are actually present in the oropharyngeal tract of mammals so what do i mean by oropharyngeal tract it is in the oral cavity and the pharynx region and it is also present in the gut region of mammals and in these regions they are actually just present not so much useful as we know that our oral cavity contains the most amount of bacteria and they are just present like the flora in our it is it is also present in the skin and they just make it uh, the make the place crowded so that other harmful bacteria cannot enter anyways these bacteria are present in the uh, oropharyngeal tract of mammals and they are usually not harmful but they are opportunistic pathogens which will be we will be going to disc uh, learn a little bit later first of all the uh, I mean second of all the bacteroids are bacilli means they are rod shaped okay so they are rod shaped which is nothing self explanatory and as i just told that they are opportunistic pathogens so let us look at this opportunistic opportunistic pathogens actually means that they cannot harm an individual by their intention means if the Im individuals uh, immune system is up to date or immune system is working properly then this bacteria cannot survive in the body or cannot harm the body but as and when this bacteria the immune system goes weak this bacteria can cause deadly diseases and therefore they are called opportunistic persons so they, they search for opportunities anyways that was about the fcv group the uh, fibrobacters chlorobi and bacteroids so to talk about an important f uh, another important and interesting thing about the bacteroids is that this bacteroids contain the uh, genera spingobacter okay so that spingobacter which was once made a phylum by calver and smith was uh, not accepted by the si majority of the scientific community and they actually made it a class under the bacteroids which contain means spingobacterial uh, bacterials and this uh, class contained a genera called sphingobacter okay so that from a phylum reduced to a class anyways that was an interesting fa uh, fact if you found it interesting that was about the fcb group like subscribe and comment if you want to and that always helps me and thank you bye